All right, good morning, everybody. It is the Aim Icebreaker for Friday, March 23rd, and it's ex an exciting Friday. The Viking Ninja Senseis, um, Eric and uh, and Aaron, are headed up to Toronto for the first Viking Ninja Canada, so Viking Ninja Worldwide. This is awesome. Uh, we've been, you know, we've been kind of teasing that for a little bit, that, uh, you know, we're getting out there, we're spreading out, and, uh, we'll, you know, we'll come to your country, too. You know, I know we've got some fans in London, we've got some fans all over Europe, uh, we've got some fans in Asia, some fans in Spain, so, hey, if you've got a gym, hit us up. You know, we'll, we'll, let's, we'll let's see what we can make happen because we'll we're definitely okay to come to you. We just gotta just gotta make sure that, you know that we know what it is you're looking for and that you know we can you know we can we can figure out some way to kind of bring you you know your you and your crew into the system properly. And um, yeah, so hit up hit up us uh, you know Sensei you know in, Instagram Eric Milan Instagram Viking underscore Ninja underscore Training and uh, let's talk and. Um, We'll be we'll be posting a new kind of a revised I guess schedule hopefully at the end of the weekend if I can get it done. Um, so we we've had some some dates change we've had some venues change and uh, the really exciting thing is like we're finally ready to start talking about dates for Viking Ninja Martial Arts. We sort of teased it. I know I've been teasing it. You know we've been saying June. We've been saying this summer. And uh, so but that's finally all coming to fruition. And you know there's for, for a specific reason. I'll talk about that maybe maybe Sunday maybe tomorrow. But you know, we, we haven't been just putting this off just to kind of like build hype. There's there's a very specific reason that it's taken us this long to kind of get where, well, this long, to get where we are. And um, I personally am okay with that. Like, uh, I think it's going to be good for you guys. In fact, uh, on the on the Escrima front specifically, um, you know, it's given me time to really dial down the curriculum. It's given me time to figure out when I can get out to... Uh, to train with coach Zarin and get him up to speed and uh we actually and and it's been kind of there's been some some cool sort of asides like we we have another person maybe who we're, we're thinking about maybe trying to bring into the viking ninja scream of fold as a coach or as, a, as an assistant or who knows so i'm excited about that so like i said all in all i'm happy with how everything's gone and so so yeah so stay tuned that's happening and speaking of martial arts it is a uh it's another uh let's see if i can get this thing open yeah it's another ah i'm so bad at this this thing's new though, so so obviously like the action's not super smooth. But it's uh, another new knife day, uh, and this is a CRKT Columbia River knife and tool. Hopefully you know them. This is a a Hammond Cruiser Liner Lock Black, and it's massively discounted right now. It's on sale at uh, Knife Center. Knife Center's been having a great sale for a while, but this this thing retails for like uh, seventy bucks. I got it for twenty, and uh, but yeah, they've got Kershaw's on sale. They've got uh, they've got a lot of CRKTs, Timberlands, you know, Tacticals. Um, all kinds of stuff. So go check them out. Uh, Blade HQ is also having a sale right now. I think uh, it's their 15th anniversary, but that wasn't a great. I mean, it, it is, but like, like to me, you know, 40 percent off of a 200 dollars knife is still, you know, more than I want to pay for a knife right now. Although, man, there's some some sweet zero tolerances I want to buy at some point, but uh, I don't know. But yeah, check them out. I'll have purchase links down below. And um, let's see what else is exciting i will be headed to the northwest no gi seminar in in uh, august my buddy gordon convinced me to go and uh i was thinking about it in class last night and, and originally i was like ah, i don't know i don't know if i want to if i want to compete and then i don't know i was feeling really good in class eight last night even though i was getting my i was just getting whipped because uh i'm still recovering from my trip but um yeah i'm gonna do the tournament and uh gordon's offered to, to kind of drill with me and, and get me up to speed which i really appreciate boy 10th planet forever love it come to seattle 10th planet but um so yeah i'm excited about that and that's actually what i want to talk about today there's a, i was watching this great video um by a uh, jitsu which i'll I'll, uh, I'll put a link to i hope hopefully you guys all know him if not check his videos out he's got a lot of cool stuff to say and um <clears throat> i was talking about competition and he was saying one of the good reasons to compete is that for some people you know it, it gets you to that it helps you tap into this intensity that might be hard and i know for me i don't know maybe you're this way too but that's something i need like i i've kind of lost that edge i'll be honest um and, and i kind of miss it you know now that i'm back into jujitsu doing live work and actually rolling with people and kind of you know seeing where i'm and going against people who are just way better than me but also going against people who are like close to my level um I, you know i realize I, I like that you know i mean i i know there's been this uh this this sentiment going around for a long i mean i've been hearing since, even since i was a kid you know the whole like well just 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 be better than yourself just be just be a little better than you were yesterday but for me it's like no i, I like testing myself against other people because that's objective i mean you know you can i mean you can always make up stuff about how good you are against yourself but if somebody beats you it's like no, no you know okay that's a level that you need to get to and 
you know, and there's there's all this weird language around like why that's you know, bad or whatever, why that's not not beneficial, why it's detrimental. You know, things like, well, you shouldn't try to be like that person. Oh, I agree. You should try to be you, but you should try to be you good enough to beat that person. You know, so um, so I don't know. Like I said, I I love competition. Um, I I've shied away from it for a long time because I think I fell into that mindset. And, and I'm not, you know, if that's your thing, fine. I'm just saying it's not mine. And I'm also saying that if you're one of those people who's been on the fence and l- thinks you like to compete, but have been kind of like, oh, I don't know. Like, I'm, I know we're not supposed to like competing. It's like, no, no, you, I, I am giving you permission to like competing. I'm giving you permission to go out there and crush it. You know, I mean, that, that's why we do what we do. Like, I mean, whether it, and it doesn't have to be sports. I mean, let's be honest. Like every day we're competing on some level. So let's just be honest about it. So that's my thought. I actually hope to see some of you guys at the Nogi seminar. Um, the early birds sold out super quick, and so I'm going to try and register uh, next paycheck like as soon as I can. But like I said, I'd love to see more of you guys there. I'd love to meet some folks, train with you. And uh, yeah, that's what I got for today. Cheers. Oh, also, go buy some knives. <laughs>